Hello, Right Recipe for Travel family. It's Cynthia, your host. Welcome to the show. Today, we're about to pack. It's cruise time, one of the most wonderful times of the year. Sing the song. It's the most wonderful time. Today's show is all about cruise tips, cruise hacks, and time-saving, as well as space-saving, ideas that I think every cruise traveler needs to know. Let's get started. I have my notes and I'm ready to go. What do you need? So we're gonna separate this out into your luggage and also your carry-on because you need to pack that carry-on very successfully or else it can ruin the whole cruise. I'll tell you about it, stick around. In today's video, I'm not gonna just sit here and show you how to pack. Most of us know how to pack but I am going to show you something that I feel is one of the biggest packing hacks out there that saves lots of space and really can revolutionize your packing game. But first, let's talk about what's going in this suitcase. Just some of the things, now we know we need jeans and t-shirts and shorts and underwear and we know we need all that and shoes, right? But did you know that there's also something you need to take on your cruise and that is a jacket or a sweater. You would think that going on a cruise, and lots of times that's to the Caribbean, but maybe not. It can be somewhere warm or cold. Either way, it doesn't matter. Sometimes those rooms are extremely cold. And when I mean room, not your room, because you can control that temperature, but I'm talking about like the dining rooms or the rooms where they have the, the big uh, production shows. Those rooms sometimes can get so chilly. And even sometimes at night, because you're on the ship and you're sailing and the wind is blowing, it can actually get kind of chilly, no matter if you're in the Caribbean or anywhere else. One thing that I just always take along with me is a sweater or a jacket. What's next? Taking along your hat. Your favorite hat. It can be the base, whoops. It can be your baseball cap or it can be your floppy hat. I actually take them both. But take that hat to protect you from those rays in the sun, to give you just a little bit of shade. It's always nice to take your hat along as well. And kind of going along in that same vein as a hat, don't forget your sunglasses or your shades. And I take several pairs, you know, to match my outfit. Take along your sunglasses. Next, I'm gonna show you two items that are gonna kind of go together. Take your umbrella and your poncho. You know, some prefer to have the umbrella and they can just carry it with them. And it's good for rain as well as creating shade if you need it, especially on those very warm uh, cruises. Others prefer the poncho. You want your hands free. You don't want that air or that wind to blow that, that uh, umbrella out of your hand, but they just prefer the poncho. You know, every time you go on a cruise, nearly every time I've gone on a cruise, it's rained. Uh, it's not that drenching rain. Sometimes it is, but it usually rains and it doesn't matter if it's the Caribbean or anywhere else. So I'm always prepared. Bring that poncho and bring that umbrella. And I don't know if I've mentioned it already, but I will put links in the description below of these products that we're talking about. Next, to keep everyone happy, uh, the poopery. Bring your poopery. I don't think I need to mention uh, exactly what poopery is, but just in case I do, it's a spray that you spray before you go to the restroom. And if there's going to be poo, there needs to be poopery. It just keeps a happy cabin. And next, we have the Tide to Go pins. These have been really like a game changer and I thought about it. You know, sometimes maybe a spill on your clothes or a ink mark or a, a something of that nature that you just need to dab on those clothes. You can take out one of these Tide pins and just correct it almost like an eraser, a dirty eraser or a spill or ink or pen or something like that. The Tide pins, those are a really great hack. Now, when it comes to medications, it's advised to take any medications that you might take in their original bottles. That's the best advice. 
Um, I don't take any prescription medications, but I do take uh, vitamins and supplements. So I just use a pill organizer. Um, either way, make sure that you have your supply of medications. And I'm gonna talk about this a little bit more when we get to the carry-on. Next is your portable phone charger. Now let's face it, we use our cell phone for everything. Uh, we do use it to make phone calls, taking pictures, videos, and before you know it, that cell phone can be low of charge. And let's say you're out on one of your excursions and you just don't have access to that plug. Taking the portable phone charger is really something that saves uh, so much hassle. You don't ever have to you know, necessarily run out of power on your phone. So the portable phone charger um, is a great thing to have. Next is to take a comfortable pair of closed toed shoes. Now I know I said I wasn't gonna get into the things that we all know we need to take in our luggage, but maybe you don't know. When I say comfortable, I actually mean comfortable and closed toed. You know, we're on a cruise, we're relaxing, we're enjoying, and most of the time, the shoes that go in our bag are flip-flops and sandals, and believe me, I've got plenty. But other times, you actually need a comfortable pair of shoes. Certain of the attractions, even on the ships, require you to have that, such as if you're traveling on Carnival and there's Bolt, the on-board roller coaster, you actually have to have closed-toed shoes. Some of the excursions that you take um, where the terrain might be rocky or wet or slippery, um, they advise you to wear closed-toed shoes. So a comfortable pair of closed-toed shoes. Next on the item is the downy wrinkle release. And it's just exactly for what you think it's for. You know, you're gonna pack your items in a suitcase and depending on how early you pack or depending on the way you pack, those items might get wrinkled. We don't want our nice uh, formal dress to get wrinkled. Do we even bring a formal dress anymore? Usually there are formal nights or elegant nights on the ship. And of course, those can be as formal as you want them to be. If you'd like to wear a tux and a gown, you most certainly can, but they're not really necessarily all that formal. It can be something, you know, a nice dress or uh, some khaki pants, a button down shirt, something of that nature, but you don't want your clothes to get wrinkled and that can happen inside of your suitcase. So the downy wrinkle release is a great thing to have. Next is a backpack. Taking your backpack um, keeps your hands free and it's really great to have. Taking it around the ship, you can put all of your items in there. Maybe you're going to spend your day at the pool so you have your sunscreen and you have your um, lip balm, you have your um, aloe vera, all the other things that you might need. You can just slip them in your backpack and take that with you. Maybe you're going out on one of the excursions and you can put your things inside your backpack, your water bottle, um, any, your ID, your phone, whatever it is that you need, and it can just keep your hands free. So backpack is a great item to have. The next thing on the list is the non-surge protected power strips. On cruise ships, it's absolute, absolutely not allowed to take surge protected power strips. They will be confiscated. But on the majority of older cruise ships especially, there's very few outlets um, and maybe one to none USB ports. So taking along these non-surge protected ones is a great thing, uh, thing to have in your cabin, especially like me if you're bringing on maybe uh, phones or equipment, laptops, uh, tablets, anything of that nature. There's more than one or two of you in the cabin. It's just a really good thing to have so that you can keep all of your electronics powered up. Next thing on our list is the nightlight. Uh, sometimes these cabins can get very, very dark at night, no matter if you have a suite, a balcony, certainly if you have an inside, but at night, once those curtains are closed, you're all asleep and you wake up and might need to go to the restroom. You don't wanna stumble around stepping on things. So a nightlight is a really good thing to have and this motion sensor nightlight um, is a great idea. Next, let's talk about coffee and our insulated coffee mug or our insulated water bottle. These are 
a near must have, especially if you're a coffee drinker like me, because the cups on the cruise that they offer for coffee are very small. And if you want more, you have to keep asking for more, going back to get more. So bringing your own insulated coffee mug, that way you can fill up on your coffee and take this with you. Or also you can fill up with water, especially we find this helpful on the shore excursions. You go off on the shore excursions, you get hot, tired, and of course there's always water available for purchase, but why purchase it when you can take your water bottle, fill up before you get off the ship and take this with you. So having your own insulated water bottle or a coffee mug is a necessity for me and a, a very good thing to have for others. Next is the first aid kit. Now we always hope to never need to use this, but this is definitely something that would be good to have if you need it. There's never a time where you want to have to visit the ship infirmary. And if you get something like a minor cut or a scrape, a burn, a bruise, you have maybe a really bad headache, uh, you have your own first aid kit available for you. Because believe me, if you go down to the ship store to buy yourself something like a bottle of headache medicine or pills, they, uh, they are so expensive. They're almost double the price that you would pay like in a, a, a Walgreens or a, a um, Walmart or something like that. You, you don't want to have to to do that, to pay those prices. So bringing a, a portable first aid kit, um, really a great thing to have with you. Next, luggage tags. You know, when you print up your boarding passes and your luggage tags, they're they're paper, they're kind of flimsy, and you don't want those things to get missed or lost or fall off. So having these luggage tags is really a neat little trick. Put them in there, you have them, so you can clearly mark your bag. You you don't want to be in that sea of um, luggage and you're trying to figure out where's yours. These help to, you know, help you to know which one is yours and also to make sure that your luggage tags, that information that you print up is safe and secure and doesn't fall off. Next on our list are the metal hooks. I'm not sure if you even know this, but a lot of cruise cabins are actually, the walls are actually metal. So these metal hooks are a really great saving hack. They're saving you space uh, because space, as we know, is a premium on board a cruise ship. The cabins are usually much smaller than maybe your, your room at home. They're small quarters sometimes. So you wanna maximize every bit of space that you can. Using these hooks, you can hang up anything that you can think of, such as a swimsuit or a towel, your lanyards. Um, you can use these and, and just put them so that they're not using that valuable space from your, your dresser area. A lanyard. It's a wonderful thing to have to keep all of your crews, like your cards or your medallions, whatever it is that maybe you use um, to access your room, to use as your onboard uh, payment, putting those inside of your lanyard. Yes, you can take it and put it in your pocket, but what happens when it falls out of your pocket or you, it's just so nice to have that. And it keeps your cruise cards safe uh, you don't lose them. How many times have people lost their cruise cards? And that's what you use to purchase things aboard the cruise ship. And maybe there's others like a watch or a medallion or something of that nature. But having something to put your cruise cards in to keep them safe and not having them to fall out of a pocket or fall out of a purse or a backpack, you can keep it right on you and just use it to swipe open the doors. Having those lanyards is a really a great savings. All right, we've come to nearly the end of our cruise packing video, but we could not possibly end this video without one of the biggest cruise hacks that will save you such time, keep you organized and save you space that I think that there is out there right now. What am I talking about? I'm talking about packing cubes. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by these packing cubes. You can buy these packing cubes in all different size type, uh, all different sizes, all different colors. This set that I have, um, they have, you know, the very large packing cubes. They have the smaller, uh, you know, and there's double packs of them. This one that I bought also came with what I think is really neat, this hanging organizer where you can put your medical, um, not your medical, your medicines or your jewelry. Um, so I really like this one. It came with this, but there's all different types of packing cube sets all different types of colors, but I wanna show you something that is 
one of the biggest hacks I think there is. So let's take a look at the suitcase. Let me bring this camera over here so you can see inside the suitcase. I have a packing cube. Let me show you. Take a look at this. I have one of the large packing cubes and as you can see, that's only taking up half of one side. I have the whole other side of the suitcase to pack. And I'm gonna give you a close-up look at this packing cube because it's just quite great. All right, so looking at the packing cube, it's the large size packing cube. What do I have in here? I have two dresses, one pair of capri, uh, jean capris, two pairs of shorts, two pairs of leggings, and five t-shirts. This is nearly a whole seven days worth of outfits for a cruise, just in this one packing cube alone, and it only takes up half of one side of the suitcase. These packing cubes are wonderful. They keep you organized. Um, they help to save space. And it's really neat, especially if you're packing for more than one person, you can have one that's just for uh, one person. This can be your, if you have a little one or children packing their items all in here so it's all together. And then once you get out of, I'm not get out, once you get into your cruise ship, you don't necessarily have to quote unquote unpack. You can take this packing cube out, set it in the drawer, open it up and just take things out as you need them. Okay, so let's move on to your carry-on. Remember earlier in the video, I told you that this could actually make or break a trip. So think about it this way. Your carry-on is going to be what's with you even when your luggage is not. When you arrive at that cruise port, you're going to go up to those porters. I might be saying the wrong word, but the people who take your luggage, they're gonna take your luggage for you. And then you're not gonna see your luggage again until sometime later. I understand that with certain um, cruise lines, depending on your loyalty, loyalty level and your status, that the promises your bags will be waiting for you when you get there. But let's just say they're not because things do happen. And instead of blowing your stack and yelling, don't you know that I'm a this and that member? Let's just prepare. So off your bags go and what you have left with you is your carry-on. You want to pack inside that carry-on anything that you will absolute, absolutely positively need for the next two to four hours, if not longer. What am I talking about? If there's any type of medications, we talked about that earlier, that you need it needs to be in your carry-on. Don't make the mistake of putting it in your luggage thinking, oh, they said it would be here soon, and it's not. Put that in your carry-on. Can you imagine how bad it would be if there's a medication that you need and you do not have access to it? Don't do that to yourself. Also, let's say the first thing that you wanna do when you get on your cruise ship is jump into the pool. Make sure that your swimsuit is not in your suitcase. Uh, you get the hint, you get the gist. Anything that you would need right now for the next couple of hours until that luggage actually arrives, that needs to be in your carry-on. Also, let's say that your luggage is taking a little longer and you decide to get into the swimming pool and now it's time to change. You wanna freshen up, it's actually dinner time. Put that in your carry-on. I would like to show you the carry-on bag that I really enjoy. Here it is. This is my carry-on and I like it for several reasons. Let me show you. It's large, but still able to be worn on the shoulder. And it's very large, it has large compartment. And inside of this carry-on, it came with several, they're not packing cubes, but they it came with several bags, packing bags, I don't know, in different sizes so that you can put whatever you want in here in all different sizes. I thought that was really cool. But not only that, there is a zipper part in the back. And if this is not enough storage for you, there's zippers here so that you can unzip this thing. Let me do it the right way. Okay. 
and get yourself at least another what? Two inches of space on the bottom. And the thing that I really love about this bag is it fits right over the handle of your suitcase. It sits on top, fits on the handle of that suitcase, and off you go when it's time. Really enjoy this bag and the link is in the description. And make sure when you're packing this carry-on, you have all your essentials that you're gonna need for the next two to four hours or longer. Well, there you have it, the ultimate cruise packing video. And we also separated it out with essentials for your carry-on. How could I forget to also add a nail file and lip balm? Those have to be in my carry-on as well. Thank you so much for watching the show today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and give us some comments. Did I miss something that's completely essential? please let me know down in the comments. Well, we're off to cruising. Have a wonderful time. Right recipe for travel family. See you on the next adventure.